Well, there's no point in dying now when I haven't lived this long, is there? I don't plan to anyway. I rang up uh, Guy's Hospital, which I know very well, so I've lived in London most of my grown-up life, and uh, I said, what's this thing? You're doing the vaccination. They said, yes. And then they spent various times asking me questions about this and that, not very interesting, and I said, yes, no, yes, no. And they said, we'll come at half past 12. Of course, I couldn't damn well find anywhere to park my car, so I was late. Um, anyway, I'm here now, and... Um, I got inside and they duly put me on a list. I went off and had a rather nasty lunch and then came back and um, they were ready for me. And no, uh, it didn't hurt at all. I didn't know the needle had gone in until it had come out. How do you feel that you are now one of the first people in the country to have received the first dose of this vaccine? <laughs> one of the first people in the world. How do you feel about it? I don't think I feel about it at all, except that I hope I aren't not going to have the bloody bug now. <laughs> I don't intend to have it because I've got granddaughters and I want to live a long time to enjoy their lives. Have you told them? Do, do they know? That I've, that I've been? No, I'm telling them, going to go home and tell them now. Nobody knows. You're the first to know. So they're, they're going to get the good news that soon you will have protection from this virus. Exactly, yes. That's right. They will. Of course, I'm going to tell my family. They don't know I've been here today. I forgot to Well, I haven't got time to bring up. So you should be coming back in 21 days' time, and according to NHS guidance, 7 to 10 days after that, which brings us to early January, you should have developed protection, immunity, from the coronavirus. And that, sir, is when you should be able to hug your family and your... your... That's my intention. Yes, I don't intend to have it. Well, there's no point in dying now when I haven't lived this long, is there? I don't plan to anyway. it's happened and now I've done it and uh, hopefully it'll help other people to come along and uh, do as I did you know try and try and do the best for to get rid of this terrible thing Groundbreaking, I think. Um, it's a, it it could, could make a difference to our lives from now on, couldn't it? I tell you what, you've made history today. You're the first person that we've vaccinated in Bristol. <laughs> what? The first person that we have vaccinated in Bristol. In Bristol? That's you, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is really quite remarkable. Um, we, less than a year ago, were treating the first patient with COVID and we are now able to give a vaccine. Um, the team has been incredible. There are those obviously who feel that a a vaccine is something they object to uh, politically or, or for ideological reasons. 
uh, or for medical reasons, I, I think they're totally wrong. I know that there are loads of people who, who count themselves anti-vaxxers. That's totally the wrong approach. Uh, it's safe. It's the right thing to do. It's good for you and it's good for the whole of the country.